Gunaiden. Gunaiden from Istanbul. Um, we are walking to find juice and corn. This is the most animal friendly city I've ever seen. All the dogs, all the cats are taken care of. They actually leave food out in the streets for them. Everywhere you walk you see food, piles of cat food and dog food on the ground. And even they build little houses for them. And they even build little statues for them. What's that cat's name again? Oh, I forget, but there's, like near the airport, the international airport, there's a cat there that all the locals loved that would sit really funny. He would sit like he's just straight chilling with on his back with his legs all spread out. And uh, he ended up dying recently and they built a little statue in honor of him. So that's how much people love the animals here. Oh, there's Topa, Topkapi Palace is that way. So after we get our juice, Topkapi Palace, is that way. I hope they make a statue of you one day. Okay, see ya. <laughs> he doesn't speak English. We come back to get more juice from you. Welcome. Thank How you, are you sir. Today? Doing very well. Hi. Good night. Salam. Salam. Salam, Abi. You know, it is fresh and uh, very uh, full of energy. And, uh, That's why we're coming to you. Turkish. Yeah. And how much? Too much. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Hundred. Uh, sorry. Uh, fresh uh, pomegranate. Uh, twenty lira. Uh, okay. Yeah. Is this one? Yeah, twenty. Okay. And uh, uh, orange uh, fifty. So one for you. Don't, one don't orange don't. and one pomegranate. Is this these obelisk? Is this a real Egyptian obelisk? No, the other one. This one? Yeah, the other one. Do you know how old it is? I think... Like 3,000 years, right? Yeah, in Ottoman Empire time, I think. Okay. But that one over is uh, uh, Byzantine. In the Byzantine Empire, Byzantine okay. Empire. Older than the other one. This one's older than the Egyptian one? I think, yeah. And wow. older than Blue Mosque also. Older than the Blue Mosque also, yeah. wow. So this one right here, if you ever want to get juice from our main guy right here, just across this, the Byzantine yeah. obelisk. One or Thank you, sir. The same of price yesterday. Okay, sure. <laughs> That's Yeah, it's wrong. Uh, no, not wrong, so okay. it's right. <laughs> okay, see you. Have a nice day. You too. Bye-bye. Oh, I love orange juice. Breakfast of the champs. Orange juice and corn. We've stumbled upon something beautiful. Is this the place? Look at this. That's it? Oh yeah, it is, right there. Topakapi Palace. Okay, I gotta turn my camera off because we're going through a metal detector. This entire area is just filled with incredible churches and palaces and mosques. It must have been so incredible like a couple thousand years ago or even 500 years ago. Even now, it's still incredible. But when these things weren't museums and they were just what they were made for. Here we go, entering the palace. Check this out. What? They yelled at me, oh shit, they yelled at me for filming inside of there. But some of the things that they claim to have is they claim to have the prophet's tooth, his beard, what else do they have? His beard, his tooth, his, um, his sword. His sword, his daughter's stuff. Her box, her dress. Oh yeah, they said they have Moses' staff. Come on. Staff of Moses. So now I think we are entering the main bit of the palace. Wow. I didn't expect that either. So this beautiful room that we were just in, with this beautiful art on the walls. Well, this is where they, this is where they circumcise you. This is the circumcision chamber. Man, I would love to have been around for that conversation when the first circumcision happened. Like, listen guys, I got an idea. They got this beautiful view 
right next to the circumcision chamber. So what is this place? The palace library? Mm-hmm. It's a library. And they built it to like uh, get God's approval by learning more and more and gaining knowledge and getting closer to God. Prophets and the names of the seven sleepers. That's where we were planning on going, right? What's the seven the cave sleepers? Of the seven sleepers. That's in Cappadocia? I think so, it's close by. What is it? What are the seven sleepers? Do you know? Um, they got in a cave and then they slept, like the legend says, that they slept for a thousand years, a couple of thousand years. I kind of believe that, like, these kind of sacred geometric and stuff like this, it really does kind of harness energy in a different way because you even feel like more energetic and enhanced in buildings like this. So I imagine studying or doing meditation in a place like this would really enhance it. That's not a real man. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but it's this statue. We found a vegan restaurant called Vegan Istanbul. Shamal's hungry, study in there. Hello. How are you? It's good. So many options. Baklava. Ooh. Ooh. It looks good. And then the meat balls. Mixed vegetables, bakery, soy meat balls. Zucchini pete, bulgurian tomato sauce, eggplant soy peppermints, lentils, green lentils, spinach, seitan, lahmacun, Turkish pizza. Turkish pizza. All the food, one plate, three options, 20, four options, 25. What are you going for? Um, I want some of this. Yes, I want some of this also. And this. <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. And the, and this. And the pizza? No. And the Satan. <laughs> Satan. I think mm. this is also Satan. Satan meatballs. I'm going for the kombucha for drinks. You're going to get kombucha? Surprise me so much. I don't like kombucha. <laughs> I've only actually had it once and I didn't like it, so I never tried it again. Some of them might be really concentrated. Ooh, they got a pickle. I love pickles. Okay, wow, it looks so good. Thank you. So things obviously have to change. Some pizza, some stuff, and some more stuff. <laughs> Oh wow, these are so good. What is that? No, I don't even know. Potato or something? Sweet potato? I've never had kombucha that I liked, but I'll try it. Yeah, like you said, there we go. It's not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all this stuff I got vegan cheese. Tofu, kebabs, vegan cream, banana soy milk, chocolate soy milk, cheddar, vegan cheddar cheese. Have you ever had vegan cheddar cheese? Yeah? When did you guys open this restaurant? Uh, it was about three years ago. Three years? Yeah, three years, years ago. You know, I was vegan first. Then yeah, you were, you were the inspiration? Yeah, I'm the inspiration for the whole family. <laughs> cool. Yeah. 
Is everyone vegan now? Uh, not everyone. But yeah? Yeah, my aunt is vegetarian, I'm vegan, my other aunt is vegan. Oh, cool. Nice. <laughs> Who makes the menu? Uh, you know, it always changes day to day, but uh, my aunts and my other aunts. They come over the recipes yeah. and just, cool. Yeah. There are some spe staple foods that don't change, but some of them uh, uh, change and yeah. get the new ones and so on. Where are you from? From America. Yeah. yeah, I can tell by the accent. Can you tell by the accent? She's from Emirates. Uh, or lack of accent. <laughs> yeah, lack of accent. Where are you from? Emirates. Emirates? I have Emirates. Oh, UAE. UAE. Yeah. UAE. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, cool. Nice to, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. Oh, send the memo. There you go. Good. Oh. See you. Okay. See you, bro. See you. Oh, sweet family. Yeah, they're sweet. <laughs> so today we head to Cappadocia. Cappadocia. Today we're heading to Cappadocia, and. Um, yeah, I think the taxi drivers keep ripping us off. I'm not sure, but pretty positive. We